Alright, welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech. So, we have the King Crab and Helapolis still being repaired for two days. Uh, we're actually going to stay on this planet until the financial report, and then we're going to go Spartan and travel all the way to Clan Space, just dropping one mission here and there as we go. So, we need sea bills so that we can make our trip. Pretty much everything is built except for the Atlas we need the 400 core for. So, yeah, we're going to go for one priority pick per mission, hopefully get a 400 core, and if not, okay, I think the sirens are done, so uh, hopefully no more come, or if, I, if they do, hopefully I catch them and edit them out. Uh, we are going to avoid the assassinate mission, because uh, we're here for money, and don't feel like fighting, that's a lot of money. And attack and defend, we could actually potentially do very easily. Drop in, wreck the enemy structures, evac out. Let's do it. And we get two priority picks, so... Cool. Planetary government should be a quick, easy mission. Blaze cannot use her, uh... Blapolis, it's currently out. But we do have the Marauder with its double eight, uh, Ultra AC 20. And we need somebody with high piloting for it. Who did we put in it last time? Um, did we? Yes, we put Kraken in it. But he's in the Vulture Mark IV. It makes more sense for him to be in the Vulture Mark IV, because Bandit with all those missiles is devastating. Uh, the Marauder will actually benefit from the recoil reduction, so let's do that. Although it's like super overkill recoil reduction. How much recoil does this thing have? Four? Four recoil. Uh... Weapon mount recoil, so that's minus two. And then she's military, so that's down to one, zero, and then minus one recoil. So it's actually. So actually, I think we're gonna bring Templar instead on the Marauder. Because, yeah, Bandit's gonna be fun. Then again, there's not enough instances of damage for Bandit to really matter much. Then again, UAC-20s do have a pretty high through armor crit chance. Nah, we'll, we'll just go with the guaranteed every shot, uh, no recoil, so, yeah. Alright, so here we go. Really uh, nice thing about attack and defend missions is just like defend based missions, come on, click. Uh, just like defend based I'm missions, if defense. all of your allied structures survive, you actually get bonus payout, a significant bonus payout. So, we need to drop somewhere where we can quickly attack these buildings, but also where we can defend our own buildings. Although, if we can, I would really enjoy dropping in two separate locations. So... I think dropping our slower moving mechs... here... is a good idea. I hope that's not a dead drop. Okay, I'm just gonna... Not gonna risk it. Alright, so those are our slower moving mechs. Well, even then, Catapult, Emperor, Hephaestos, and Vulture. They're not even that slow. Uh, and then the attacking force will probably be coming from this direction. Because I can't drop here. So I'll probably drop my faster moving mechs here. Like so. And then... 
the Manticore forward and the Ballista hiding right there. Boom. Drop pods down and we're ready to start the mission. So we do see an archer. We see something. And we're already getting shot at. Cool. That's a Timberwolf. Wow. That is a stealth Timberwolf, no less. I swear, local government, like, in the Inner Sphere, local government seems to be one of the best factions to get clan tech from. Dragonfire. Okay. That was a lot of missiles. Axeman, okay. Ah, oh God, I was sleeping. What do you want? Really don't want my catapult to be the one soaking fire. But I also don't want to be clumped up. Nah, I'll risk the stray shots. Better than the catapult getting focused. Oh, it's a skinwalker. All right, a little bit of splash. Oh God, they hit me, son of a bitch! Not a big deal at all. You got nothing, you hear me? Skinwalker did not move. Good to go. Hammer. What do you have? You have a clear shot right there. Although you also have the ability to jump. And awful hit chance. Well, I guess not incredibly awful. But let's see what's over here. Alright. I'm not seeing anything terribly scary. Obviously, I don't want to get close to the Axeman. I'm actually not going to risk the jam. I'm not going to risk jamming. It's, uh... Okay, he has AMS. Good to know. So the Axeman's like the Hatchet Man's big brother. Ooh, cleaning our PPC and Timberwolf, no less. That thing's probably gonna run hot, though, considering it's stealth and it's clan tech. But it's saying no heat. Hey, I'm fine with you taking these buildings down. Nothing I can't handle. They will be done. All right, Ek. Don't want to actually get too close to the axe, man. Kind of want him to come to me, really. I mean, Taking the shot. you. Yeah, take that. Twenty-four damage. Alright, Kraken. It's in the Vulture. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna focus the Axeman. Out of range of the SRMs, that's fine. I am gonna go with the ER. Better hit chance. Plus, obstructed line of sight anyway, and he has AMS, so... Not that big of a deal. Burn up more of his AMS on my weakest missiles. Waiting on you, Commander. Alright, Clist. Here's where things get really fun. Coordinates received. 
punch a hole in that thing. Or miss horribly, that works too. As long as our allies don't stray shot us, I'm happy with it. Alright. So, this is the sprint range if we don't use our stuff. But, if we use our stuff, all of a sudden, boom, that is our sprint range. Quick step in it. How much ammo do we have for the UAC-20? 10 alpha strikes. I'll risk jamming. All right. Standing by. All right, pistol. I'm focusing the Skinwalker specifically because it is Got it. the Go lightest it. target, and it does carry a pretty menacing payload. Hands imaging on and fire. For it's the most likely thing for us to be able to take down in the first round. We don't need that many hits. And it didn't move, Firing so... Ah, oh God, I was sleeping. What do you want? And we replaced our long-fire LRMs with the standard LRMs. So... We can actually get in a little closer You're to the catapult now. An old guy. All right. I broke him like my. Ready for orders. Aye aye. Man to quarter the front to try to soak some damage. Aye aye. Right here. Thank you. Not a kill. Inflicted some heavy damage. Not a kill. And he's turned thirty. Wow. All right. Turn thirty. Wow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yikes! That hit hard! Yep. Oh, God. They're, they're shooting me, and I'm really scared. For real this time. Whoa! Easy on the armor, yep. buddy! Yep. That did a lot of damage. I was really hoping to kill him, but, yeah, no such luck. Hmm. It tickled. Advanced laser AMS is cool because it shoots the uh, enemy's missiles out of the AOE. Kind of like the advanced AMS or the AMS Mark II, so I would totally use it if I had one. I mean, on the bright side, our buildings are soaking a lot of damage, so that's good. What are we going to do? Like, I split my forces, hoping that I could quickly strike, clean up, and go and take the buildings as fast as possible so that I don't have to deal with reinforcements. But, Standing yeah. Bar. Got it. Wow, he intercepted all of them. The target missed. 34 from 34 hit by AMS. That's nutty. Alright. Well, it's his turn now, so what you gonna do? 
Alright. Yes, Commander. Twenty percent fail chance already? Oh, I don't have piloting A and B, do I? No, I need piloting A and B. That's a Centurion. Can't get in the back of that guy. All right. Let's see, uh, see how much we can mess up a scent. Forty percent damage reduction. That's unfortunate. I mean, taking down a heavy PPC is taking down a heavy PPC. Vigilance and fire. That was actually funny. <laughs> we accidentally <laughs> dropped the axeman to the ground. Yeah, friendly fire, or, you know, allies being useful. Did that actually affect us? I don't think it did any damage, I think it's just generating heat. Waiting for orders. Alright, Grasshopper. Um, you know, I'm not super comfortable with the idea of charging here. But I don't have to charge. So the real question here, well first of all turn off supercharger, the real question here, how comfortable am I turning my back to the enemies with a building in between us? Yeah I think I'm going to berserk this, I think I'm going to hit him from behind, and hopefully the building will protect us from having our back exposed to the enemies. I forgot to turn my expulses back Go on. Yeah, I'm not happy with our melee mech. Like, it just took off an arm and that's it. Like, yeah, if we had hit side torso, it would have taken side torso Ready, off, but... Yeah... On it. Ah, God, I was sleeping. What do you want? I do not want to move that way because then my allies will be hitting me in the back. But if I move closer, that, well, it's not that bad. 80% instead of 90%. Or I could just shoot the dragon fire. I think I'm just going to shoot the dragon fire instead. Good to go. All right, Clist in the Emperor. Also going to shoot the dragon fire. Standing by. Commander. Okay. Orders. I'm gonna start off. Pistol. Actually, I'm gonna drop some heat. I'm gonna use pistol to kill the skinwalker. Well, I said I was gonna drop some heat. Target eliminated. Waiting for but, orders. Yeah. Whatever, it worked. Commencing 
All right. Critical hit. Good to go. Target Oops. Got the knockdown though. I'm taking a pounding, Commander. So Dragonfire should not get another turn. Meanwhile, our fast movers are struggling a little bit over here. Turn 26. Ow. Okay. Okay. It's fine. Everything's fine. Yeah, we're we're not going nearly fast enough. We only have seven rounds before wave one arrives. Waiting for orders. The archer doing nothing. Interesting. I mean, I kind of like the idea of... Does their base not have turrets? Ooh, I don't think their base has turrets. That's good. Um... Yeah, I like the idea of jumping into the flank of the Axeman and potentially taking his leg off. So I'm gonna jump right there. I'm gonna do a thing. Yeah, that's definitely not a legging, and now I'm in melee range. I was really expecting something to hit leg. On the bright side, the Timberwolf's focusing the building, so we can easily walk behind him and kill him. Building did not protect our grasshopper. Light damage, Commander. So I'm thinking. Ow. Okay, light goss. Waiting for orders. I'm thinking. We're gonna go vigilance. We're gonna turn on the things. We're gonna sprint into his side. And we are going to pray that we take his leg. Not a legging. Scar a critical hit. Standing by. Which means it's up to the vulture to overcome the AMS Bum. and knock him. Wow. Okay. So the goal was to knock him down so he couldn't melee me. But he's jumping. Flanking. Okay. Okay. Good to go. Okay. Um So one more into his back should kill him. Eck. I just need you to kill this guy or knock him down. Got it, Commander. That was neither. No luck. Okay. Waiting for orders. Okay, who else do we have? We 
you still have the catapult turn 16. I think I'm actually going to fire the catapult at the Axeman. The Emperor... The Emperor will be able to mess him up. Or do I go... Actually, I think I'm going to go like so, because we're likely to get more stray shots this way. Giving him everything I've got. And any stray shots on that generator will do... Never mind, we don't need the generator. One left we just card. killed him. Ah, God, I was sleeping. What do you want? Yeah, oh, I like I said, like going, going for the knockdown here. Um... Hopefully his AMS is jammed. Definitely not using LK because of how much AMS they have. Was it enough? Yes, okay. So he cannot melee us. Commander? Emperor. Got it. Kill the dragon fire, please. There we go. Looking good. Enemy down. Receiving you. Our fast movers, they've seen better days. But Let's it's move. fine. Let's start taking these buildings down. Roger. Receiving you. Hellstorm's jammed, so brace. Roger that. Digging in. Okay. Centurion flanking the vulture. Okay. Wait, is that a pirate timberwolf? Black cat. I see. Oh, that's a lot of stuff gone. Well, I was just commenting on how I'm not happy with it, so I guess it's fine if it gets wrecked. Mask and supercharger off, because we can only keep them on one turn at a time. Cover, Axeman, side torso, miss both times. Okay, so yeah, we just lost our Cutlass. Double heat sinks, no big deal, we have tons. Uh, lower melee weapon, that's unfortunate. That's fortunate. But yeah, so we lost the lower melee weapon. Upper spiked. Eh. Okay. I mean, that's a heavy PPC I can take off the board easily. And the closer we are, the less likely the AMS is to intercept. But the Axeman hasn't gone yet. Confirmed. Let's take him out. Alright. Definitely overkill. He I was running an XL down. engine. But it's fine. He's down, that's important. Ah, uh, I thought he was going to ignore me. I thought he was going to focus on our allies and our buildings. Oh god, I was sleeping. What do you want? You're asking a lot, old guy. It's fine. I'm going to press all the buttons and you can stop. We can do this. Let's go. 
It's fine. Wow, he fell down like I do. But he did turn his back to our allies, so hopefully he dies without us touching him. Good to go. I'm receiving you. Eck. Sure. Position confirmed. Put my weight into it. Structure exposed, unsteady, but not down. Ready for orders. I mean, pistol could take off an arm easily, or I could start wrecking buildings. I think that's what I need to do. Target confirmed. Because I only have six rounds to destroy the buildings and evac. Waiting for orders. Yeah, also. Also glam. Affirmative. Brought it down, Commander. Good to go. Clist, on the other hand. Right, Commander. All weapons are go! Pirate ERPPC. That's a critical hit. Scouts rifles empty. I see your charge and I raise you a kick. Position confirmed. And I miss. Of course I miss. Why wouldn't I miss? Was it still enough for the knockdown? That's the question. I think I hit something good. No. Standing by. I mean... I'm gonna hit my own people with it. I know I am. But this is a knockdown. Guaranteed. Damage is minor, Commander. No. Really? How is he not knocked? Yeah. Well, I'm definitely not hitting myself with the Hellstorm artillery. That's uh, that's a bad idea. I got a quiet. Ooh, protos. I would definitely take a proto heat sink kit if offered. I'm receiving you. Blaze. Okay, turn twenty three, turn nineteen. Just getting in there, getting copy that. Getting right up in their pretty little faces. I'm trying my best to knock them down. That'll do. Waiting for orders. 23 activations, that's definitely not going to happen. Turn 11, Emperor should be able to finish him off. Right, Commander. Okay. Firing on target. Yes, Commander. Coordinates received. Target acquired. I should really turn enhanced imaging off before it explodes on me. Standing by.
Now he's knocked. He has to be knocked now unless it's glitched. There we go. Yeah, magic pixel. Gotta love the magic pixel. Receiving you. Okay. Ultra Mark IV. Yeah, the uh, the obvious choice here is the Apollo. Also has protos. Commander? Coordinates received. Engine destroyed. Unfortunate. Standing by. Um. Yeah. Roger. At this point, I just want them dead. I'll get whatever That's loot I get. We're sleeping. What do you want? I mean, sure. You're asking a lot of an old guy. Lining him up, knocking him down, just like that. Scratch another target. All right. Ready for. That's order. everyone down. Heading out. Just need to wreck the buildings and get out. Start rolling your little vehicle. No problem. I'm gonna make some tracks. Oh, my AC twenty's out of shell. Yes, Commander. Four. UAC 20 versus building. UAC 20 jammed. Roger. All right. Standing by. On it. That should be enough to take it down. No. No, it's not. Good to go. Good thing Clist has multi target. Eighty eight for that one. Wow. 88, huh? Oh, wait, I did. Okay. 88 for that one. 82 for that one. So that should be good. Although, actually, let me put my hit chances together so that my really good hit chance. Here we go. One of them missed. Okay. Hey, you know what? One out of two. Target destroyed. It's fine. Ah, oh, God, I was sleeping. What do you want? 
You're asking a lot of an old guy. Oh, look, I can see through him. Waiting for orders. Right, Commander. Lamb, because she's shorter range, taking this building. Alright. Last building, then evac, and we're good. Brought it down, Commander. Orders? How's it going? Engaging jump jets. Locked on. All right. Commander. Acknowledged. So I'm pretty sure reinforcements drop as soon as I destroy the last building. Locking on target. Receiving wow. You. All right. <laughs> All right. How many? How many hit points? Five. Locking on target. We don't need to evac. Okay. Yeah, our grasshopper had definitely fallen behind the curve, so it's fine. 2.2 million sea bills. They want the skinwalker and black cat parts. Sure. Well, then again, do I care about rep with them? I'd much rather get one of those randomly than a sensor's tracker or LRM ammo. So, eh. Do we have any Timberwolf parts? I don't remember. Whatever. Um, pirate PRPPC, so... Not clan, but it's fine. Air 12 Sheath Beacon. We are lacking... We actually have two now. Huh. Don't need the armor anymore because we finally fixed the uh, King Crab. I mean, Battle Computer Gunnery is always good. Especially on anything that has a jam chance. We already have a Battle Computer Artemis. Extreme range, eh. Missiles, okay, if you're running a missile boat. Um, what I'm hoping to see is some Proto Double Heat Sink kits. Protos... No Proto Double Heat Sink kit. That's unfortunate. Upper recoils, eh. We have 12 Protos already. Jump chat improved heavy. I mean, we could try to rebuild our super jumpy mech as a heavy mech, but it'll be a lot harder to get, what is it, 18 hexes I think it's at? Something like that. Oh boy, what do we actually take? You know what? I think I am actually going to take the Timberwolf part. Just in case we have other Timberwolf parts to combine with it. Obviously I don't want to build the pirate one, I would rather build one of the clan ones, but that's fine. Handheld UAC-20. 195,000. I'll take it. <laughs> Regular LRM-10. Probably never going to use it. Regular Gauss Rifle. We have one. We're going to clan territory. Alright. There we go. Alright, 369,000 sea bills of repairs. Probably almost entirely the Grasshopper. And we're going to immediately stop work on it. Where is it? Grasshopper. Stop work. Confirm. Yeah, 254,000. So, the question... The question is... Do we just scrap it? I don't think so. But it's definitely not going to be a melee mech anymore. Also, we're putting that piloting A and B into the Marauder so that it can use its, uh, stuff. Let's 
So definitely keeping the AMS. I like the AMS on it. Don't need the melee gyro anymore. Talons, we could end up still kicking with it, maybe, but... Here's what I'm thinking. We're gonna make it a shooty mech, but we're gonna make it an up-in-your-face. We might actually keep the supercharger and add a mask. But we are going to give it all the pulse lasers, I think. So we're gonna start Clan Pulse Laser, and then we're gonna drop some medium pulse lasers in. We're gonna give a large pulse laser. Don't need the cockpit hot seat anymore. Uh, we're gonna keep the combat shield, but we're gonna put in an exchanger. Then again, no. The hard points, the missile and energy in the head, nothing on the arm, so it's good for punching. But. Yeah. Yeah, no. <sighs> So yeah, it's it's worthless as a shooting mech. And we don't have anything that adds to punch damage or anything like that. So no, I'm I'm actually gonna scrap it. It served us well for a while. Goodbye. Two hundred thousand sea bills. Alright. So now we absolutely need our Atlas. But we, again, we want a 400 core, right? So we want four walk. Uh, engine cores. We want four walk, and I don't think we get that with a 380. No. Just shy. So we definitely need a 400 core. Out of curiosity, how much is dropping the... XL engine into it going to cost five million C bills. Wow. Yeah, sounds about right. Sounds about right. Yeah, let's do it. On it. I'll let you know when that's done. And Ballista in case ours gets broken. I think I'm just gonna scrap. We're not gonna see medium mechs very often. So might as well throw them in the blender. Nidhogs, we're past Nidhogs. 500,000 for that one. We're past Ifrits. Like, unless we're dropping assault tanks, they're just gonna go down in one hit. And boom, just like that, we're back to almost 5 million. Alright. So again, the Atlas, we're just waiting for a 400 core. As soon as we have a 400 core, we're going to pull the trigger on that thing. Um, we are going to go ahead and just order things by how long they take to complete. So, in six days... So, those will be done in four... Five, six. Everything except the Halapolis will be back up. Alright. Let's go ahead and wait for it. There we go. And we're going to jump into the barracks real quick because I have not skilled up my pilots in a while. 
Blaze finally got 10 gunnery. That'll help with jam chance. Dragon. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting to use his ability. Sure. Mech warrior training complete. The injury resist will be really useful if his tank blows up. Waiting for orders. Ek, you're gonna be sidelined until your atlas is ready. Waiting for orders. Glam. All right. Ah, God, I was Grandpa. Sleeping. What do you want? Mech warrior training complete. We're getting up there. Receiving you. Hammer again, jam chance. Sure. Training Take some guts too. Injury resist is really useful to have. I hear ya. Clist. Uh Sure. Training complete. Less initiative randomness. Better able to plan our moves. Ready for orders. Crack in. Actually, Kraken, we've been throwing in the Marauder. So, let's give some more piloting. Training complete. Oh yeah, we forgot to put the piloting A and B in the Marauder. I'll try to remember to do it tomorrow. No guarantees. Training confirmed, Commander. No guarantees. Waiting for orders. Training complete. Waiting on you, Commander. Mech All right. Training complete. Oh, hey, our King Crab's done. We can take the King Crab Mark II for a spin tomorrow. Yes, Commander. I mean, Virago and Hardball are good Mech Warriors, yes. but I got them kind of late in the game, so... Eh. Maybe next campaign. <laughs> in any case... That has been your episode of Rogue Tech for the day. I hope you enjoyed it, and until next time, have a good one.